that uh, game? Um, yeah, it was uh, an upper body injury, so uh, usually that's what it is. And uh, it, was, it was good to get back in uh, game four and five and uh, help the team win and, uh, you know, had the off season to recover, which is always nice. You don't have to play through it for an extended period amount of time and you get back to full strength before training camp. When you come back from that, in, like literally in one day, two days, I think it was for game five, I mean, what were you playing through? Immense amount of pain? How, how did you get yourself ready for that? Yeah, I think uh, the fact that it was a Culver Cup final definitely helped. You have a little bit more adrenaline. My trainers did a great step, a great job of getting me ready to play and uh, made sure that I wasn't going to hurt myself any further. And once they said that, you know, I was good to go. And obviously, the way the team played definitely helped me. Uh, staying in when you're winning, obviously the pain goes away, uh, and that was the case. Been to a, a lot of camps here before, but this seems to be one where there is, you know, the, the, the clearest spot to a, a spot on the team right now. Is there? I, I know the approach doesn't change, but is there any different way you look at this camp as opposed to previous camps? Yeah, I mean you're just excited. I mean every camp you have, you get a little more experience, and I think your opportunity gets uh, a little bit better every year. So this year, you know, I have my best opportunity, and I think it'll give me an opportunity to show what I can do, and you know that makes. Makes, uh, makes it a challenge for me, but also it's really exciting. You know, if you do well, you know, you're going to get some results. And if you don't, you know, it's on you. But uh, hopefully you'll get a chance and uh, hopefully I'll do well. It looks like one way or the other you'll be playing here in Southern California. What's, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, I mean, obviously L.A. is a pretty special place. I can't think of a better spot to play. Uh, I mean, from the off the ice to on the ice, I mean, world class. They treat you really well. That's the biggest thing. And obviously the weather is great and the fan base they build up after their two cup wins has been uh, pretty special. So obviously playing for an organization like this would be a uh, dream come true. Uh, you know, I, there's competition for this spot as well. And one of the guys that will be competing is, is Jordan Wheel too for that spot. I know you, you, know, you played on the same line with him last year. You're playing on the same line with him right now. Um, you know, is, you know what, what does that make? Because obviously it looks like you guys are great friends and this stuff doesn't affect friendship, but there's a competition there for, for a roster spot. Oh, yeah, for sure. Obviously, I mean, uh, Jordan and I are really good friends. We've been together for three years. Um, we've lived in the same apartment buildings for three years. So, um, I mean, push come to shove. Obviously, we're going to try to do our best. But then again, uh, you know, doing your best being a really good teammate. And uh, Jordan and I have done that for each other. and We both support each other. You know, whatever happens, happens. Um, obviously, the Kings want, want the best team they can afford, and you know that they're going to do that. They're not going to. Um, it's going to be no hard feelings between Jordan and I when that decision is made, and I really look forward to the competition. That, uh, you guys model citizens in that uh, apartment building there. Yeah, and it was. Uh, we've actually had a special group in Manchester the past three years, uh, starting from my rookie year with Tyler Toffoli, Andrea Pearson, guys like that. So um, we've had a really good friendship for a bunch of us, and uh, we've stayed together. So. I think that's, you've seen a lot of success in Manchester because of that. Uh, you guys skated yesterday opposite Mersh. Um, I know uh, Jordan was there for some centering part of it, and uh, Nick was there centering part of it as well. looked like you guys were able to operate in the offensive zone for quite a bit. Was that something that, uh, obviously, yeah. you're looking to do that, but were you happy with uh, you know, just the performance yesterday? Yeah, I think that's one of the staples of a Kings team. You know, They p possess the puck. I mean, look at the best teams in the league over the past couple of years. They're all puck possession teams, so that's one of the qualities you have to have to be an effective member of the Kings roster. So. I think that's something we look at, you know, possessing the puck down low and getting to the net. I mean, it's one thing just possessing the puck in the perimeter, but getting chances in front of the nets where, you know, that pays off and you got to make that pay, that make that count when that does happen. So that's one thing that we were happy with yesterday.